So a lot of people have been asking me because I've been posting a lot of videos lately and they're and they're not familiar with how this all started. So I'll, allow me to give this take. So essentially, how did all of this bullshit start going on, Tectone? I'm curious. Well, first of all, if you ever have any questions, highly recommend you subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the bullshit that's going on. Surely it'll all die down soon. No, it won't. Or go to my twitch.tv forward slash Tectone and give me a follow. I'm live there every morning. I would love to talk about anything that you all have to talk about. Now, people were wondering, how did this all start? How did this all start? Okay, well, let's let's take you back because people think they know the root point, but I need to give you the pre-log. And essentially, this is how it goes. So I started playing Genshin Impact from day one. And I was very much excited for the game. Now, the reason why I was playing Genshin Impact is before Genshin Impact came out, I was looking forward to a game called Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol got delayed, so I wasn't able to play that. And I wanted to transition from a game called Arknights. Arknights was a community where I had a huge issue with this content creator called Dreamy. And they just got exposed to be a piece of shit in my recent video. If you want to go watch that, you're more than welcome to. Because everybody thought this person was in the right, and they all thought that I was in the wrong. And I said, how the f*** can so many people actually not believe me? And it drove me insane. As well as the uh, community, community managers of their Discord also recommending people to not watch my channel because I'm white, and they should watch these Asian creators instead. That shit blew my Mind. And there's some other stuff, but if you want to watch that, then you can also go watch my other video, Why I Quit Arknights. Now, let's continue. So, I go into Genshin Impact as a very jaded player, but I was excited because the game looked very good. Now, the game, I played beta, was perfect. It was so good, it had everything that I wanted, and I was so excited. And one day before the game launches, I go to climb a wall as Eula. And before all this, I pick positive content, positive content, positive content. And about how excited I was for the game. And I go to climb this wall as Eula. And I'll be real. I'm a coomer. Or sorry, not, not Eula. Lisa. Sorry. I just love her ass so much. Go to climb a wall as Lisa. And I go to look at her ass because I'm a coomer. You know, I think it's funny. Climb the wall. Look at butt cheeks. It's dope. And they blurred it. And they censored it. Okay. Now, this might seem childish to you, but let me continue. I don't like when people censor themselves. That's something that I truly don't like. There's, there's things that I don't like in this world. I don't like people being censored by corporations. I think it's cringe because I feel like it's important to be truthful with the people that you talk to, the people who have made you, the people who are your community. And the reason why this is, is because when I was a distruthful to the people who I was around, I lost a lot of people by lying. So I've thrown that away and I've just said, I'm going to just be straight up. I'm going to say what I need to say, even if it makes people hate me. It's the same reason why I don't like lollycons. I had sexual abuse when I was a child. So it makes me very angry when I see other people people sexualizing children or anime children. It makes me very uncomfortable. And those are the root points of that. So now that you understand that I don't like censorship, let me move forward. Positive guide after positive guide, everything was going great. I post one video about how I'm not happy about the censorship and oh my God, the internet lost their mind saying, yep, this is the same guy who caused all these issues in Ark Knights, which by the way, was disproven yesterday. Great video. Really recommend you go watch. And I got this title of a miserable negative man. And it sucked. So content creation from day one was a uphill battle. Essentially, I had to make better content than everybody else or I would not get any views whatsoever. And then this guy called MTash showed up and we had beef for a little bit. I'm not, I'm not going to deny it because the guy made a guide video going over the most simple shit ever. And he was getting two, three million views on anything that he uploaded. It was, uh, it was insane. And he made a video talking about why Klee sucks. So I made a video called Klee doesn't suck. You suck. <laughs> this was years ago. This was years ago. Oh my God. And you know, Mtash and I got into a little spat. He was right about Klee would eventually fall off. I was right about when Klee was originally released. She was quite strong for the current game state. Okay. But 
That's what I was talking about. I was talking about current game state. He was saying nobody's going to want to play this shit in the future. But for right there, we were technically both right, but we were bickering. And that was kind of the first big Genshin drama. I got shit for being involved with another content creator, and MTash got a lot of negative reputation as well by, you know, complaining about the game. And so at that point, we both became the two black sheeps of the community. From there, you start to see allegiance after allegiance after allegiance form of content creators who were horrified of talking to us or interacting with us. And I don't want to talk about MDash anymore. I'm talking about just me. I would see content creator after content creator be horrified to interact with me or communicate with me because of blacklisting from Hoyaverse. I was blacklisted from Hoyaverse. They wouldn't give me Primo gems anymore. They took me out of their content creator program, this, that, and the other. And uh, there were people and also one of my friends. I don't know if I should say their name. I'll leave it out. But if provoked, I will ask to say their name for a later video. They told me that they were being told specifically that if I were, if they were to do content with me, they would lose their sponsorships. And that's not good. So that was much more forward. Let's go back a little bit. So I realized that there were people who did not want to interact with me out of fear of losing with their money. All this shit, whether it was personal or professional, is what it is. So I kind of did my own thing, but by me speaking out against what I hated against the game, it drove people nuts. Because when I say what I don't like about the game, and what I say I don't like about the company, and what I say when I don't like how people act, well, a lot of those things would line up with a lot of content creators' ideals. One of the biggest things that I've been saying for a while is, I don't like when people say this, and then they do that. Right now, this is going to make us jump forward. So now you know how we got started, how I started talking shit, this, that, and the other. And there's a lot more. If you're ever curious, come to my twitch.tv forward slash tech down. We jump forward after years of me getting shit for being critical of the game and people saying being critical of the game is drama and drama is bad. So they say indirectly, just like I say indirectly that people who say this and do this for their content i don't like just how they said people who are critical of the game right drama makers and that's not good right so two people doing the same shit but when one person does it it's okay when the other person does it it's not okay and that doesn't make any sense to me and that's why i continue and so let's fast forward a little bit past all of the bullshit and we come to this oh actually no getting ahead of myself a game called honkai star rail comes out and when honkai star rail comes out everybody's playing this shit it's making more money than genshin in 1.0 more money than genshin in 1.1 more money than genshin in 1.2 more money in genshin than 1.3 more money than genshin and 1.4 and people are starting to get pissed off because after update after update we get more end game we get more polls, and the Genshin community are coping. And they're saying, you have to do this because the game's bad. You have to do this because blah, blah, blah. And essentially, they always had an excuse to excuse their Genshin. Oh, pardon my Genshin. Pardon my multi-billion dollar company. But then, one character came out. One character. It was a very important character. And that character's name is Dr. Ratio. And Dr. Ratio was given to all... Honkai Star Rail, uh, all Honkai Star Rail players for free. And at that point, the Genji community realized, oh man, we do not have any excuses anymore. We have nothing that we can say. We know that this game is being mistreated, or at least a lot of people did. But more importantly, you know who really knew that? China. Now. While a lot of content creators were trying to act like the game was okay, I was expressing that it was not. China was expressing that it was not. And while the majority of content creators for the game just shill the game and shill the game and no matter what happens, just accept it, guys, better than nothing, and shill the game. Oh, man. The reality check crept in. 4.4 was announced. China was also very angry about this. I think I might get my timeline a little bit messed up. China was pissed because of 4.4. And then the reactions to the videos came out. Doro posted that the Genshin Impact update is insane. And I posted that Genshin Impact 4.4 looks underwhelming. Now, Zyox posts this as a tweet and titles it as the duality of man. This post pissed me off so much 
Because after I get told week after week, month after month, that I need to be careful about what I say, that I need to be careful about what I do, this guy makes a tweet to 1.5 million people. This is a post that's going to farm hate for Doro. This is a post that's going to farm hate for Tectone. Never takes it down. Never apologizes. Dismisses it as a meme and says, oh, look at how innocent I am. And this shit pissed me the off. Because if someone can be so irresponsible and just do this shit and just say, oh, it's just a joke, Lamau. When someone can be so irresponsible and cause so much shit for Doro and myself, at this point, I just said, I'm going to be real. I just said, okay. my DMs, my comments, my chat was flooded with dumb from this post for days, even still because of this post. And so I said, okay, let's talk about it. And, and let's not act like, oh, he didn't know it was going to get so much hate. When you make a joke about Tekton on Twitter, it's going to get upvoted into oblivion because these Genshin cocks are just praying to God on my downfall every single post. It's insane. You cannot go to one of these Twitter posts and not see the post. Tectone's downfall, image of this one soccer player, wouldn't miss it for the world. It's in every single post. They're praying to God. They're praying to God on my downfall. And so I just say, Get let's talk then. I talk about how this post is bullshit. I talk about how the truthfulness of content creators don't say this and then do that. I talk about the importance of content creators being truthful and genuine with their audience. And I attempt to assist CN by also covering CN, even going so far as to make a video translated to Chinese, got a translator, put in subtitles, post those videos on Billy Billy to let them know, to let them know that we are with you. We want change because there was a lot of coverage all over every Twitter feed about how there might be change for Genshin if this continues. So I said, I will try everything. I cover all the bullshit. I cover all of the quote unquote Genshin revolution as all these Genshin dumbasses are calling it. Okay. It's just it's a Twitter post. Okay. It's angry people in China. Something more than that. Okay. And then there's even more. Genshin Impact loses 1.1 million followers on Douyin. And that's the point where we think, okay, this is working. If Genshin Impact is losing followers, even losing connections to other advertisements that they did, maybe we actually have a chance. So I cover that. And for some reason, me covering the discontent with Genshin Impact and me covering the issues that are going on in China made people very upset because they want to live in their little comfort bubble of, well, I think everything's fine. Well, I'm sorry. To you, it might be. To me, it's not. You might be okay slurping down dicks and eating pig shit all day. I want a sandwich, bro. I'm not cool with this shit. So I continue covering it and it starts rubbing people even more the wrong way. Then come the claims of Genshin Impact is botting their social media. To which I remind everyone that that is most likely a true statement due to the fact that Genshin Impact has been known to bot Twitter posts, bot creators, and pretty much drive engagement any way possible. They're a company, and it's sad to say that this isn't an issue to Genshin Impact alone. A lot of people do this. And people just really did not like me speaking out against that. These people who have been causing issues over Dr. Ratio, these people who have been causing issues over Honkai Star Rail, these people who have been causing issues over China, whenever they speak now, they just say, oh, Tectone caused all this. It's his fault. It's not because of the poor game state. It's not because of the disingenuous content that's been pushed out and shilled. It's not when a content creator says, I don't like the game, and then immediately drops $2,000 on it, and then says, oh, I like the game. It's only because of me. So essentially, people blame me for everything. And I'll be real, I have a certain amount of accountability. Absolutely. I could just lie to my chat and just say, okay, guys, give up. Yep, hey, we'll try again next anniversary. We'll try again when Honkai Star Wars gets a five-star selector. Yeah, it. We'll just run it back, whatever. If it doesn't work this time, 
We're f***ed, man. I think you made it a bigger issue than it actually is. Well, here's the great thing. 110, 230, 304,000. Let's act like these are all unique. 422, 523. This is a meme video. 700,000, 786,000, 868,000, 974,000. 1.1 million, 1.18 million, and that's it. 1.18 million. And let's for a moment pretend, let's for a moment pretend that every single one of those views is unique. Let's pretend that every single one of those views is unique. Zyox's Twitter post has a confirmed 1.5 million unique viewers. So if you think my 1.1 million views on this content has made an issue for everyone else, can you imagine how much this post made issues for myself and Doro? So it's okay when other people do it. No one's going after Zyox when he caused me all those issues, but... Everyone goes after me when I talk about it. Now, why is that? And that's because it's the age-old tale of how it's always been in this community. It's okay when they do it. It's not okay when I do it. I'm done feeling bad for them. Doro got death threats and hate mail for days. I know. I know. Yep. I'm, I'm past the point of feeling bad for them. I can't feel bad and I can't let them get away with shit when they say it's bad if I do it and then they do the same shit. Can't do it anymore, guys. That's how it all started and that's how it's going. Hopefully that makes sense. But TLDR, Genshin's game state's been in a very bad spot. China outrage happened. Dr. Ratio outrage happened. Honkai Staro versus Genshin back comparison happened. They now look to me and they say, Tectone, it's all your fault for all of the issues because I talk about it. So once again... How apropos of Hoyoverse creators to attempt to silence me, just like Hoyoverse is doing to other creators. Insanity. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think.